Well, a warm welcome along to this latest transfer roundup. We're slap bang in the middle now of the latest transfer window for the Premier League and plenty of stories to get stuck into. Myself, Warren Ashurst and James Mason alongside me today to go through the four biggest transfer stories. And we start off, James, with the latest regarding Romelu Lukaku's future at Manchester United. The Belgian international says he's not even considering speculation at the moment regarding his future. But his agent had said that by the end of last season, of course, it would have been sorted one way or another. It isn't. And it continued to be linked, uh, does Lukaku, with a whole host of clubs. Inter Milan still look to be the favourites. And it seems, James, just a matter of time, despite what Lukaku says, that he could be on the move. Yeah, I think it's pretty harsh, to be fair, that Lukaku seems to be getting the boot because even though he's been sort of criticised for maybe his lack of running around, he scores goals wherever he goes and I think that's exactly what United need. He's been in a poor United side and he's still found the back of the net, but it does look like a move is inevitable and Inter Milan could be leading the race for him. I still think he could do a job in other Premier League clubs as well if they wanted to shell out the money, but it's that factor. It, it, it's mm. the money they have to pay for him. They'll be wanting over £50 million pounds for him. And whether any Premier League club will give that, I don't know. But Inter Milan could potentially be somewhere that he could go. Uh, that was the striker options anyway at the moment. So we move over though to a, to a report that is involving uh, Liverpool's Dejan Lovren. Now AC Milan are reportedly looking at signing the centre-back. It is said that £25 million pounds is what the Reds want for him. He is a Croatian international. He is a Champions League winner. But is he worth that much money? Well, you have to say, getting into his 30s now is a lot to be asking for Dejan Lovren, who, uh, of course, not played a great deal of football last season. He uh, missed the start of the campaign off the back of getting to the World Cup finals with uh, his country with injury problems and then he really struggled to get his way back into Jurgen Klopp's plans from there. I think it is almost certain that he'll leave this summer because I think Lovren will be knocking on the manager's door saying I want more regular first team football and I think AC Milan would probably be quite a good fit. I think uh, you know a, a sort of workman type defender that he is, Italian football might suit his style very much but 25 million as you say James mm. is, is an awful lot of money and I'm not sure that Milan would delve that far into their pockets in order to pay that for Lovren. We shall see. Uh, sticking with defenders, and James Tarkovsky is at the centre of speculation at the moment as well. Wolves are understood to have inquired about a potential move for the Burnley defender. Now, Harry Maguire has been linked with a departure from Leicester, so the Foxes have also been linked with Tarkovsky as a target as well. Burnley, though, James, say that they will be doing all they can to keep hold of the England international. It's going to be tough, though, with so many clubs banging on the door. It's going to be tough, but to be quite honest, Van Burnley, if someone comes in with a bit of 20 plus million for him, I'd snap the hand off at it. He did have a really good season, Tarkowski, not last season, the season before. And the previous campaign, he sort of dipped his level. And I always think it's a bit harsh when Tarkowski gets all the plaudits, but then you've got Ben Mee, who seems to be doing a great job yeah. for them. You know, he's a great left footed centre half as well, which you don't have many of. So. Yeah, Tokowski, I think he could go. I think he would be a decent fit for Leicester. Um, even Wolves, I think they just need backups to help because they play with a back three. Mm. So they need some more cover in there. But yeah, Tokowski could go. If I said if a 20 plus million big comes in, I'd probably get rid of Tokowski, to be honest, if I was Burnley. Um, the final story that we have looked at in involves uh, Aston Villa, one of the newly promoted sides. Uh, they're said to be looking at Calvin uh, Phillips there, which is the Leeds United uh, centre midfielder. Now, I suppose he's had a decent few seasons with Leeds, especially in the previous campaign. Uh, Marcello Bielsa got the best out of him. The reports that uh, around sort of 14, 16 million pounds for him seems a little bit excessive, but I think Villa could do it maybe something like that. Yeah, him. I think in this day and age, that's kind of the going rate, though, these days, isn't it, for a highly rated championship player. I mean, I think they do definitely mean midfielders. They've released um, Whelan and Yedinak during the summer, so Villa do need some strength and depth in the middle of the park. You have to say Calvin Phillips was arguably Leeds' best player and most consistent player all the way through last season. He is a Leeds lad. He would be tempted, I'm sure, to stay with his hometown club. But the law of playing in the Premier League with a club the size of Aston Villa, who have already shown with a couple of signings so far, James, that they're throwing money at it in order to stay in the top flight next season. I think Calvin Phillips could be an interesting signing. He could be proved to be a snip as well if he continues as he is at the moment form-wise and takes that on a step going into a Premier League campaign. Well, they are the four main transfer stories then of the day. Let us know your thoughts on the players in question. Will they be moving on, do you think, this summer? And where will be their best destination? Of course, make sure that you like our pages on both Twitter and on Facebook and subscribe to our YouTube channel.